Oh, you like scary stories, yes? That's why you've come to me. <laughs> I'm a storyteller, you see. But lately I've grown tired of the same old tales. While it's nice to make people laugh, what I really want to do is scare them. To begin with, I thought I'd get new props to liven up the performance. So I commissioned a ghost picture from a well-known artist in Yotsuya. Alas! It's been a while now, and I haven't heard anything about the picture. Could I trouble you to check on the artist for me? Wonderful! Please see to it as soon as you can. I'll be here working on my stories in the meantime. What? But I only borrowed a paltry sum! You must be mistaken. Scram! Can't you see I'm busy? Or did you come to settle this man's debt? <laughs> Wise choice. All right, I'll look the other way. But don't forget to thank your friend here. <laughs> Wait a minute. You work for that storyteller, don't you? You really saved my skin. Here, take this. Hi there. Your friend's a storyteller asked me to give you a message. He said he was headed to Oiwa Inari Shrine.
I must have fallen asleep. Oh, it's you. Seems like I fell asleep while listening to the sound of that shamisen. Mine is rumored to be haunted, you see. I thought I'd come and get some inspiration for my story. I saw a beautiful woman heading in, so I followed after her. That's when I heard someone playing a shamisen. And that's all I remember. Of course, that woman! She must have been a ghost! Thanks a lot. This ghost, she's the spitting image of the woman I saw. What's more, she's even holding a shamisen. A shamisen? Yes. The sun would be perfect for livening up the performance. Now that I have props as well as his story, my new stage is set. Mark my words, the name Enjo will become synonymous with horror. Hey! Sorry for the trouble, but there's something I need you to do. Top secret stuff. I'm serious. Not a word to anyone. I take it you heard His Excellency is heading to Kyoto. Well, a group of Ronin, the Roshigumi, has been assembled to act as his escort. They're recruiting the best around, no matter their background. Even a criminal record is no problem. It's a pretty brave move. Lord Katamori, the military commissioner of Kyoto, claims it's to give the peasantry the chance to earn a decent living. 
But in reality, he's luring the Shogun's enemies in so he can wipe them out all at once. He might look like a pretty boy, but he's a sly one. No question. Mm. You Shogunate heavyweights come up with all sorts of things. I'm just afraid things might heat up, putting the Shogun in danger. I need people I can trust inside the Roshigumi to see which way the wind is blowing. How about it? You two would be perfect. We've looked everywhere, and there's no sign of them in Edo, which means their likeliest location is Kyoto. Anti-shogunate forces are amassing there now. I wouldn't be surprised if the Demon Claw turned up as well. No objections here. Sign me up. And what about you? Thanks. I owe you one. Right. The Densuin Temple in Koishikawa is about to be flooded with hopefuls. Head there and report back. We'd better hurry if it's already happening. To Densuin Temple. Hello. Thanks for your help, as ever. I'm sorry to ask, but can I trouble you with one more little request? Tatsugoro's in something of a bind, you see. There's a shogunate man causing trouble for him. Well, given my position, I can't exactly be seen to intervene. What we need is solid proof of his wrongdoing. Why don't you start by getting the full story from Tatsugoro? Thanks. I promise you'll be duly compensated for this. You'll find him at the lumberyard in Fukugawa. It is. Hmm? Ah, his lordship Katsu sent you, did he? I take it you're up to speed. The new man from the Shogunate is a real piece of work. He's conspired with the supplier to hike up the price of lumber. Now, all the carpenters in town are worried they won't be able to work. As a firefighter, I can't let this go unchecked. When the house burns down, my job isn't over till it's been rebuilt. If only I can smack some sense into those boys. But we can't be seen doing that. No, this job requires subtlety. And besides, all my strapping young men are in Katsu's care now. Of course, if you would lend us your skills, we could get this done in no time.
<sighs> I owe you one. And I'm sure Katsu's spoiling for a good dust up himself about now. You know, way back when, he gets into fights at the drop of a hat. His father had a nasty temper too. Suppose the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ah, but his lordship has his title to worry about now. He can't just do as he pleases anymore. Anyway, our government man is supposedly conducting some furtive talks close by. Can you go right away? Thanks. I know you can handle yourself, but please be careful.
Letting me go. Run! Let's get out of here! Yo, 
your back. And Lord Katsu wasn't able to resist showing up. But it seems you didn't leave any work for him. Nonsense. I knew our friend here would take care of everything. I can't be drawing my sword over every petty squabble now, can I? Thanks for taking care of this. So, did you find the evidence we were looking for? I knew I could rely on you. He won't be able to talk his way out with this evidence. I'll take it from here. What are you saying? He doesn't deserve to die for what he did. Besides, I have a few questions I want to ask him. I'm glad you didn't finish the job, so to speak. I have a little extra on me for a task well done. Now the carpenters should be able to get back to work. Just you wait. They'll have those burnt-down houses rebuilt in no time. Ah, that's good to hear. I can't bear seeing my beloved hometown in this state. Right. It's time I got going. Don't worry, though. I have plenty more work for you. Will you? It's my minder. He's in terrible danger. I was out looking for customers last night when I saw some unsavory types. They were disposing of a samurai's body in the moat. And in my shock, I let out a cry. I fled as fast as I could to my minder, who hid me under the floor. But when the villains couldn't find me, they took him instead. Please save him! I beg you! Save my minder! Oh, thank you so much! He was taken to the back streets of the Pleasure District. Please hurry, before it's too late. Ah! <laughs> 
Thank you. Those thugs run this town like it's their own playground. And they'll keep harassing us till you take out their boss. So I'm begging you. Help us, please. They hold court at the big estate out by the rice fields to the north. You go ahead. I'll follow close behind. It's been quite a day for fearless guests. You've come for this lot, is that it? Right. <laughs> Look here. You seem reasonable. How about we make a deal, you and I? I'll pay you if you leave quietly and forget that you saw anything. So... You are not willing to negotiate. Hmm. In that case... I hope you're prepared to die! What are you doing? is too much. We'd best set up in some other town. But I'll let the others know you helped me. Goodbye. <laughs> 